Basim El Car live with me now to talk about some of what's happening. He's the director of the Sacramento Valley Chapter of CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, as well as a trustee for the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sincere. First, we have to talk about this situation in Vermont. One of the young men shot, Keenan, is a longtime family friend of yours. Yeah, I grew up with his uncle. Um, I never had the honor of meeting Keenan. I uh, grew up with his uncle in the Bay Area, a beautiful, beautiful family, and just uh, devastating to hear that one of his students is paralyzed um, from the bullet lodging in his spine. And so just it's just devastating to hear these incidents happening around the country, um, hate incidents, harassment, uh, protests. I mean, it just it's um, it's the climate of, of fear um, during this during this conflict. Um, that situation, and just also for you personally, I know that you've lost loved ones, friends in Gaza since the Israel-Hamas war began. This is a tragedy that continues to compound for many people in our community, something that they're carrying with them in their day to day. Yes, we, we've lost, we have a large family in Southeast Gaza Strip, and um, we're not refugees. 80% of the Gazans are refugees. We're not, but now we are refugees. Uh, uh, probably 99% of my family has to had, had to flee the southeast of Gaza after uh, leaflets were dropped. I'm telling them to go to more secure areas where there are no secure areas in the Gaza Strip. And we've lost dozens of family members. And and now, you know, just every every night, our time is morning their time. We call and we try to see, you know, who's okay, who's not. And it just, it's just um, just an emotional ro roller coaster for the past uh, almost two months now. And um, and the, some of the elders just don't want to leave. Uh -huh. They just they go into these schools with thousands of other people. Everyone's getting sick. The water's tainted. And just seeing the images come out of Gaza every day, mothers holding their dead children. I mean, it just, you know, over 6,000 children have been killed. I mean, this is, and the sad thing is, you know, for me as an American, you know, my taxpayer dollars um, are funding this war. Um, my, you know, the bombs that are manufactured, the bombs that are being dropped on civilian uh, apartment complexes, and they're destroying entire rows of apartment complexes, killing everyone inside. And 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 just seeing as people in this country are are you know are very angry. Seeing especially play out on social media. Uh -huh. Social media is showing everything that's happening, showing what's happening at the hospitals, what's happening at these as a, at these apartment complexes get leveled. So it's a very emotional time. It's 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 very just it's you feel helpless. Like what can you do? And there, but there's a lot of efforts you know, to put pressure on our elected officials to call for a ceasefire. And many of the California members of Congress have come out mm -hmm. for a ceasefire. Let's Not talk, all. Let's, let's talk about a local situation regarding ceasefire. A lot of organizations have taken stands about the war in the Middle East and issued sort of position statements or calling for a ceasefire. Um, and members of the community have gone to many different city councils, Folsom among them, working on some of those statements because they feel that the resolutions passed or drafted have been a little biased. I know that um, members of CARE have been involved in those discussions. Do you feel like you're getting some positive feedback when maybe some biased language has been pointed out to some of the council members around the region? Um, yes, I think there's been some really good meetings and, and with all sides, you know, sitting on the table, talking, discussing, and that everyone can recognize that there's a humanitarian disaster. There's massacres taking place almost on a daily basis. No, one, no one's denying that. And so I think it's been e pretty easy to pass these resolutions all around the nation um, and here locally. Here locally, there's been, in, in, you know, an increase in efforts by the community um, working with interfaith allies and others to try to get these resolutions to keep the pressure on the Biden administration, that it's not members just of their own party, but folks all around the country. The polling, Democrats and Republicans, the majority want a ceasefire and a stop to the bloodshed. Um, we've talked about some of the ceasefire resolutions and working on language. We know Jewish students here, Jewish individuals in many settings have also been harassed, targeted since the start of the war as well. And of course, that's not right either. What other kind of situations have been reported to care besides, you know, some of this going on at city council or what have you heard like kind of colloquially about how people are being treated and perhaps targeted here because of the war that's going on in the Middle East? Um, a lot of the targeting takes place um, at, at protests. Uh, there was a protest in Fresno where someone in a truck ran over a bicycle, ran over a protester. Um, the protester had to go to the hospital and get surgery. I mean, it's, and there was an arrest made in that, in that case. Mm -hmm. so you're hearing these incidents around the country. Um, and unfortunately, the ones that just make the national media are just the shoot, you know, if it's a shooting or a stabbing. But there are incidents that are unfortunately happening all around the country. 
Um, we're seeing an increase, over a 200% increase in Islamophobia and anti-Semitism incidents. And these are, you know, a concern. And I think it's also brought communities together to address these issues and saying enough is enough. We're, we're not going to tolerate hate, hate against any community. And, um, and we just hope, you know, we can make a difference. All righty. Thank you so much for coming in to share both your personal experience with what's going on with this war and then also what CARE is doing to represent the feelings of um, Muslim folk and also Arab folk and Palestinian Americans that are here in our area. We appreciate your insight. Thank you, Sincere. Mm -hmm.